Have you had a hell no moment recently? I'm talking about a moment when life presents you with something that you absolutely, without a doubt, do not want. If you have, congratulations. If you've had one of those recently, we all need those, I believe. I had a moment recently when I believe I was jogging, I was going over to the beach, maybe I was running, but I was looking at the shadow which was coming from behind me and was cast on the ground. And that shadow showed me and it showed that I had some handles hanging over my shorts. Basically, it was showing me that I got too much midsection going on down here. And I thought to myself, oh, hell no. I couldn't stand it. I mean, I didn't even know all that was going on. I guess I needed to see it in my shadow. I mean, I didn't see it in the mirror. Uh, it's not something that my wife had recommended. She didn't say anything. Maybe she was just being nice. Maybe she was being generous. But um, I knew that it was one of those moments that something has got to change. I didn't want that. It was a hell no moment. And so then I went on to say, okay, what am I gonna do about this? I mean, I was walking, jogging. I was doing some things with my nutrition. But then I thought, you know, what would my goal be? What would my 10X outcome be? I needed to find that out for myself. I mean, one approach that we commonly take, and I did go there, is that I need to lose those handles, right? I need to lose some weight. But knowing what I know about that approach, I knew that wasn't gonna be enough. I see people try to stop things every day. Some people are trying to stop smoking. Some people trying to stop gambling. Some people are stop trying to stop eating certain foods, trying to stop drinking. You know, what we're trying to do is lose some things and we're developing habits. I think that sometimes what we're doing is we are letting ourselves off the hook. We're setting uh, low bars in a way. So I've seen that and I've seen what that looks like and I've seen people bounce around, right? We lose and then we go back, we lose and go back. And so what I decided to do instead, I need to make some changes and I'm gonna set the bar, get ready for this. I decided to make my body one that, you know what, if I wanted to advertise underwear or a swimsuit, well then I would be ready. Something that was form fitting, I decided to make my body a model. Now, am I gonna do that at some point? Probably not. However, that is the bar that I set. And it's the bar that I recommend. I've been talking about 10X lifestyles. Now, ever since I did that, now that was about 22 pounds ago, okay? I have less of a shadow going on there, less hanger, hanger over, and uh, but I'm not there yet because I'm still not ready to model some underwear. But the main idea I wanted to share was this issue of hell no moments. You know, moments when we realize that life is showing us something we absolutely don't want. Now, I believe those are blessings, those moments, because they're opportunities for us to feel like, hey, you know what? I don't want that. But what is it that I do want? And so, we get an opportunity to figure out what we want, what we call winning, what we call victory, and how that would look for, okay? So in other words, what we get is an opportunity to say, hell yeah, I want that. I wanna figure that out. What is it that I can say yes to? What is it that I can say hell yes to? You know what I mean? And in other words, when we do that, what we are saying is hell yes to myself. All right, so that's what I want to recommend. I hope that you like this discussion and uh, keep your ears open because this is what we are talking about here, how to win, how to win in 10X fashion. And I'm not talking about outcomes, I'm talking about lifestyle. And I'm talking about a community where everybody understands what we're talking about and is contributing to the conversation. Keep winning, guys. Take care.